My name is Christopher Johnson. I am the artistic director of Etc., the late night arm of life theater workshop, and I directed this production of The Book of Liz. The Book of Liz was written by uh, brother-sister writing team Amy Sedaris and David Sedaris. David Sedaris is, of course, known as an essayist and humorist behind the Santaland Diaries and Barrel Fever. Amy Sedaris is probably best known for uh, Strangers with Candy. The Book of Liz is a really interesting take on the old fish-out-of-water storytelling device. Uh, it's about a uh, woman in her late 40s, early 50s, named Sister Elizabeth Donderstock, who finally, kind of towards the end of her middle ages, realizes that maybe she isn't as appreciated in her community as she always thought she was. Do you ever get the feeling that you're not being appreciated? and decides to uh, run away from the fictional Amish community she's a part of called Squeamish in this production uh, to try and make it in the real world. And along the way, she meets completely bizarre, charming assortment of characters, including Mr. Peanut, uh, a Ukrainian couple who speak with Cockney accents a smorgasbord of homosexual alcoholic waiters, and a manic young physician. It's a great play for etc. because it's uh, really very different from anything we've done before. It's not really edgy in any way at all, and we're really sort of fine with that because we really care a lot more about doing plays that are good. One of the really fun things about the rehearsal process, because the Sedarises don't provide a lot of backstory for this fictional religious sect known as Squeamish, has been in finding the mannerisms and the personality behind this religion, because the, the playwrights really gave us a lot of room. We tried to turn popular American Christianity upside down um, in action in the way these characters act and present themselves as much as the Sedarises did with their writing. And that's been really fun. We've found some, found some really cool, interesting stuff. This show has one of the most unique voices I've ever come across in a script. Um, it's really charming. It's really funny. We've had almost a little too much fun even putting it up. There were times where I just had to take what we were doing and focus it down and focus it down because we were laughing so much and having so much fun with the characters that they were almost running away from us. It's got a real genuine good heart, this play. Uh, as strange as the characters and the things they do and say are, this is a play that has really good intentions about the human spirit and it's been a real privilege to work on this show and I think people are really going to come for the Sedarises and just for that name just because they're so well known and have uh, such a distinct comic sensibility but I think people are really going to walk away from this show kind of blown away by the huge heart at the center of the show which is uh, Sister Elizabeth Donderstock so I can't wait to watch this play with an audience I'm really excited.